The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello and welcome everyone to today's webinar uh, on summer schools in Germany. We have two universities with us today, RWTH Aachen International Academy and Kubis uh, from uh, Berlin. And before we start, I would just like to introduce today's presenters. Maybe, yes, here we are. So my name is Hani Geis. I'm the Senior Manager University Relations in the DAD San Francisco office. I'm mainly in the background today. Our main presenters are Jan Lühmann, who's the program coordinator at the RWTH Aachen International Academy, and uh, Kira uh, Gavista is uh, the program manager for the Free University Berlin International Summer and Winter University, short FUBIS. And I'm very happy um, you could join us today. Before we start the presentation, just a few housekeeping items. Um, so today I will just very briefly talk to you about DAD, uh, what DAD is, uh, what we offer um, also for you in general, if you're interested in more information on German universities. And then we jump right in and first you will hear about the International Academy in Aachen. And then in the second part, uh, you will hear um, about uh, FUBIS. There will be time for questions um, at the very end of this webinar, but of course, if you listen to this webinar later on, for example, or if you have questions um, later in the process, maybe when you apply, you can always get in touch with us and you have the contact information on the first slide. So um, just as a reminder, I, I do share the slides with you um, later on in the follow-up email. I do also record this webinar. If you listen to this webinar live, you can just simply download the two handouts. Uh, when you click on the handout section, just click on it and it'll, it'll download the PDF automatically. But again, if you listen to this webinar on our YouTube channel, just go to the DAD.org webinar section, go to the archive, and you can download the PDFs there. And so very briefly, what is DAD? DAD is the German National Agency for International Academic Corporation and Exchange. Simply put, that means that DAD represents higher education and research abroad. Uh, we provide general information on German universities and German research. So if you do have general questions, do feel free to get in touch with us. Also visit our DAD.org website for this information. Um, but uh, more importantly for you maybe, we do also provide scholarships and grants on all academic levels and stages and also disciplines. Um, one um, scholarship I would like to mention uh, which is not available for this specific um, summer school, but uh, hopefully when you go to um, either Aachen or Berlin, maybe you catch the travel bug and the study abroad bug and you want to go back. And so the study scholarship is for those individuals who would like to pursue full masters in Germany at any German university, any field. It can be in German, but doesn't necessarily have to be. So it can be really in any field you're interested in. And final year undergraduates, so seniors, are welcome to apply. The next deadline is coming up November 5th. And you can see here, um, you get a monthly stipend, health insurance, and, and also travel stipend. Just for you to get a kind of a sense how much that actually is. Uh, most students in Germany need about 800 to 1,000 euros to cover their living expenses, uh, meaning um, their um, money for accommodation, either with a shared room or their own apartment, and also the living costs. So the 850 euros really covers most of your expenses, so you don't have to dip into your savings. And with that, um, I uh, wanted to leave this information at that. And you can find more on the study scholarship on our website, and there are also FAQs. But again, do feel free to get in touch with me if you have any questions later. And so with that, I would like to share um, your screen. M Mr. Lehmann will be um, showing his screen here in a little bit, and he will start this uh, presentation on talking about the AVT Aachen and the Summer Academy. Yes, perfect. 
Okay, yep. Um, welcome to the presentation about summer schools at RWTH Aachen University. My name is Jan Lühmann and I will be your host today for this presentation. Um, yeah, just in brief, in this presentation we will quickly talk about the university. We will then focus in depth about our summer school programs and I will again briefly discuss the admission process and why you should choose Aachen. All right. So here, as you can see, RWH Aachen University has currently more than 45,000 students. And um, as engineering or natural science students, you should feel right at home. As you can see here, most of our students are enrolled in engineering programs. The second highest number being natural sciences. Uh, we also have a few subjects in humanities, social sciences, economics, and quite a strong base in medicine. Um, yeah, but what this graph really shows is that um, it's a technical university and thus most of the students are involved in engineering or natural sciences. Um, yeah, RWTH Aachen is one of the world's top ranked technical universities and RWTH Aachen also is well connected. Um, as some of you might know, RWTH Aachen is a member of TU9. TU9 is an association of nine leading German institutes of technology and the university also is a member of the so-called IDEA League. Um, the Idea League is a strategic alliance between the university and four other universities, those being TU Delft in the Netherlands, ETH Zurich in Switzerland, Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden, and Politecnico Milano in Italy. Um, all those five universities are the largest technical universities of the countries. And yeah, this simply shows that the university is well connected and it offers, um, yeah, good opportunities both for students as well as researchers and professors at the university because um, yeah, it's, it's easy to do one semester overseas at the partner university or do your bachelor or master thesis at those universities. Um, yeah. Next up, now that you have a short overview about the university, I want to talk about the summer school programs. So our summer school programs are based on a so-called three pillar structure. The first pillar being excellent science and research and engineering. Um, this pillar refers to the lectures and the exercises that students will experience during the summer schools. This of course is the main part of the summer school program, but not the only part. Um, the second pillar is German language and culture. Um, I think this pillar is quite obviously you're coming to Germany, so you will experience German language and culture. And the last pillar is social events. So our programs um, yeah, are supported by social events and you will definitely have a lot of fun while studying here. I will go into more detail about this one in the fifth part. Okay, um, so what are our summer schools? Our summer schools are short-term study programs for duration of two, three or four weeks. They are especially designed for undergraduate students who completed their first academic year. Um, this is very important. You must have completed your first academic year so that you have the basic knowledge for the classes here. Master students are also welcome to apply, but I want to point out the level is more targeted at undergraduate students and um, yeah, this is our main target group. The program costs are 1,990 euros for a two-week program. 2,990 euros for a three-week program and 3,750 euros for a four-week program. Um, this sounds like a lot, but you have to um, consider that the course fee contain an all-inclusive package. This means that all the lectures and laboratory courses are paid for, excursions and social events are included. Um, you can have a look at the excursions and social events on our homepage, where each of the program has its own preliminary weekly schedule. Um, accommodation is also included. Usually we cater three or four bedrooms. Um, yeah, breakfast and lunch is included for weekdays. Weekends are off because our students are usually traveling and you also have to get your own dinner. For the duration of your time, you will be in Aachen. A local public transportation ticket is included and we also offer a 24-7 emergency hotline. Um, the application deadline are the 1st of April 2019 for our programs running in June and July and the May of 2019 first for our programs running in August. In case you want to get our early bird save us discount on 10% on the course fee, you have to apply before the 1st of March. Now that you know the basics, let's have a look at our summer schools. 
So our summer schools can be grouped according to your academic background and interest. The first part you can see, this is our biggest group of summer schools on mechanical engineering. Here we have the topics agile innovation, product design meets engineering. We have a summer school about automation simulation, one in automotive and mobility studies, one in mechatronic systems engineering and product innovation. Our summer school on production technology meets industry 4.0 and the robotics for future industrial applications summer school. Next up, it's our three summer schools in engineering and management. Um, these summer schools are special because you do not need to have an engineering background. Any students that are interested in management can apply for these three programs. These include bringing technological innovations to market, the case of e-mobility, Six Sigma quality management, and the summer school about supply chain management and logistics. We also have one summer school for civil engineers, the summer school structural engineering of industrial facilities. And we have two summer schools for electrical engineers, our smart electrical power system summer school and the sustainable energy technology summer school. Um, now, of course, this sounds like a lot. These are 11 programs. If you want to know more about them, please check our homepage. Um, each of the programs has its individual website. You can find the link in the end of this presentation, which you can also download. So please check the homepage, click on the individual programs, and just read about the academic content and what you can expect. Next up, I want to show you an exemplary weekly schedule because it's much easier for you to imagine what you can expect when you come to Aachen. So as you can see here, the students always arrive on a Sunday and um, your first class of, of the summer school is the Monday. On Monday, we start with the welcome orientation so that the students can get familiar with Aachen and also with their fellow students. And in the afternoon, we have a city tour in which you can explore the city. Then on Tuesday, we start with the lectures. You can see here from Tuesday to Friday, you have lectures and we use the two color scheme for those lectures. We have the more medium blue color this is your standard lectures that also include the exercises. And we have the color that's a little bit more light bluish. These are kind of social events and cultural activities. As you can see here on the Tuesday, we have organized the campus tour so that you can get familiar with the campus and the area. On Thursday, you have a tour through one of the institutes. And on Friday, you have an intercultural workshop, which is always um, accepted quite well by the students. And you can see here the Saturday is free. This usually is the same for the Sundays. So Saturday and Sundays are days in which you may travel. Like I mentioned before, these exemplary weekly schedules are also posted on our homepage. And you can find one for each of the study programs that we have. Please check them out. Next up, social events. While you're here, we'll also have social events. These include sightseeing, barbecues, a sports day, hiking tours depending on the weather, city excursion, a karaoke night, and get-togethers. Here you can see some photos from this and last year's programs. We also include company and institute visits in the programs. This is the practical part. Um, these, be, these depend on the individual programs, so please again check the homepage, check the preliminary weekly schedules to get a better idea about what you can expect. Here again it's some photos from last year. All right, now that we talked about social events and the company visits, please note that once you decide to apply for one of our summer schools, application portals open on the 1st of November. Um, of course, there will be application process involved. Um, we will send you some documents. This is basically the normal way you apply for any university worldwide. Some documents will have to be exchanged, but your place in the summer school is only then guaranteed once you have sent us back the required documents. We have a copy of your student ID and we have a travel health insurance. Um, this is very important for Germany. All students need to travel health insurance. And of course, you must have paid the course fee. In the end, let's have a quick look at Aachen. As you can see here, Aachen is located in the west of Germany. There's few nice cities that you can explore that are close to Aachen, for example, Cologne or Maastricht. Here are some photos from the events. And now let's also look at Aachen from Germany, it's its European neighbors. You can also see here quite well, Aachen is very close to the Benelux states, but we also had a student once who went to London. So if you're adventurous, if you want to make the most of your weekends, Aachen is also a great destination for exploring Europe. Of course, this can also be done after you finish your summer school.
Um, yeah. Thank you for your attention. This is my part of the presentation. Um, questions we will not have now, the questions we will have in the end, because the next part will be from my colleague in Berlin. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you. So uh, let's make that jump from Aachen to Berlin and hear about the okay. opportunities uh, for summer school. Okay, then I will take over. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, great. <laughs> then, um, yeah, welcome everybody. Um, also, from my side, um, my name is Kira. I'm a program manager at Freie Universität Berlin International Summer and Winter University. And I would like to introduce you to our, um, our program and I will start with presenting you Berlin, our location a bit, then talk about our university and then I will give you more details about our program structure. And um, yeah, once I'm done, we can dive right into the questions. So let's start with Berlin. So Berlin, um, as you all know, is the capital of Germany. We are in the um, heart of Germany, let's say, um, located in the um, northeast. And um, Berlin is also um, the European center or a European center of politics, of culture and of art. It has an extremely rich um, historical background. Uh, you probably also heard about the history that uh, Germany was divided and so was Berlin. You can see uh, traces of this past, of this um, division in Berlin still today. There are a lot of memorials, museums and so on. It has a lot of famous um, yeah, uh, theaters as well and other possibilities to basically enjoy life. <laughs> um, and it's also the UNESCO City of Design since a couple of years. Um, I'm sure you would enjoy not only summer here but also winter. Um, I'm saying that because we also offer a winter program in our, um, yeah, with our uh, university. And let's go directly to the Free University of Berlin. Um, it is a premier destination for research and education in Ro Europe. It is ranked among the top research universities in Germany. Currently, as far as I know, it is on um, worldwide on place 88 um, in the humanities. We um, receive uh, funding from the Federal Excellence in Initiative and we were also awarded the elite status by the German Research Foundation. Um, this is the second time in a row. Um, the university was founded in 1948 in Berlin um, and it was actually founded by um, the help of US Americans because um, at this time um, it was really important to have like um, yeah, like an other university in town that was free of uh, free and um, free for for progress for progressive thinking, because um, the university that was in Berlin to this day um, was actually in the Russian sector, which was um, influenced a bit. So the Americans decided to found their own free university um, in the west of Berlin. So that is also the basic idea um, that research and um, science should not be limited and should be free. Um, we have uh, today, we have 34,000 students um, um, enrolled. We have a lot of international students and yeah, 
15%, the percentage of the PhD students is a bit higher, I think it's 25%, and the university also offers um, many degree programs. Most of them are taught in German, but um, we are opening up and also some degrees are coming in English. That's basically the overview to the university. Then let's go to our program, the International Summer and Winter University, FUBIS. We are an intensive academic program, um, short-term program. We have three, three sessions per year, one in winter, which is our term one. It usually starts in um, at the beginning of January and is three weeks long until um, um, the end of January, which is perfect if uh, you're studying at a university that has a J-term. Um, and then we have two summer programs. Uh, we have term two, which is taking place uh, from May to, uh, to mid-July. It's six weeks long. And we have term three, which takes place from mid-July to mid-August. It's four weeks long. And also the dates for 2019 are already set and published. Um, I would ask you to check on the website. Um, there you can also find every, yeah, all the details, um, again, that I'm mentioning here in this presentation. Of course, they are also in the handout, but the safest thing is to go on the website to check for the, um, for the yeah, for the most up-to-date information. So we are actually a, quite old already, let's say, as a summer school. We were founded in 1998, so we have more than um, 20 years experience already. Um, we are one of the largest multidisciplinary summer and winter universities in Germany. Um, our focus is um, on the humanities. You will see that also when you check out our course program. This is also a reflection of the um, focus of the university itself, which is also um, a leader in the field of humanities. And just to give you an idea of our um, of our size, we had this year in yeah 531 students participating, um, which were coming from more than 45, 44 different countries, and we had about 60 courses um, in our portfolio. Our program structure is as follows. We offer um, German language courses and subject courses. Um, you can combine a language class with a subject class if you want to. You can also combine two subject classes or you could just take an intensive German language class if you would like to yeah, simply study the language and uh, have a really fast progress and the language learning as well. We have um, here the overview of our track system, um, which shows you how it works with the combination. Um, our courses take place, yeah, the whole day. So if you're taking a track subject course, you will have class Monday and Thursday, for example, and um, you will have class for, uh, on Monday from 9 to 3.30, which would be six contact hours. Um, this is our course offering. We have German language courses on different levels of proficiency. You do not need any knowledge of German at all. You can start from zero, but we offer all the levels from A1 to C1. Um, like mentioned before, you can take an intensive German language course if you want to have lessons five days per week, or you can take the semi-intensive track, which means that you would have only German language class on three days per week. Um, the subject courses we offer, um, like mentioned before, are mainly from the humanities and social sciences. One of our most popular courses, for example, are the German philosophy courses or the European study courses. Um, but we also offer, um, for example, in term two, we offer usually a theatre class or um, a class with um, 
with the focus on cinema um, or what else do we have an offer um, we offer classes yeah history classes and so on we really have a broad um, variety of classes and um, everything is published on our website um, fubis.org you can check this out already now we currently have our term one program online only because the summer program is not yet 100 percent finalized but it will be published by the end of november so um, if you want to get an idea what kind of courses we offer uh, you can also check out the program from this year because many courses will be offered again the subject courses are taught in english um, yeah, and it is really important to us that the class size um, is not too big, especially in the language classes. Um, we have a maximum of 15 students. Um, in the subject courses, 18 students can participate. It is also um, a really important part of our program that you leave the classroom. That means with every course you would go on field trips and use Berlin as um, as an academic, historical, cultural and political real resource. Um, there are many possibilities. Some um, courses go to the parliament and have discussions there with politicians and so on. Other courses go to museums um, or other institutions. We also offer extracurricular activities. We um, take you to the parliament, we go with you on a boat trip, um, we have some get-togethers and you can also decide for optional excursions to other cities on the weekend if you want to. Um, and of course you can also join the sports courses at the university. Um, Academic quality is really important to us as well, so we try to ensure this, or we actually do ensure this through various means. We have an academic board that um, annually reviews all our courses. Um, we adhere to the teaching standards of Freie Universität Berlin, and we offer ECTS credits. We have um, all our academic regulations transparent on our website, and um, also, we successfully completed, actually we completed this year again the um, quality improvement program of the Forum on Education Abroad. Um, we already did the, get the go that we completed it successfully. It's not yet published because we, <laughs> we need one more confirmation, but this will be also on our website soon. So here's the fee structure that you get an idea what it would cost you. Um, as mentioned before, you have combination possibilities. Uh, you always would have to pay the program fee, which is 250 euros. Then you have the different prices for the different terms listed here. Um, the program fee includes the student ID, um, the welcome and the farewell, and it also includes some sightseeing and cultural events, and of course the transcript. Yeah, that's basically um, it already. Check out our website, join us on Facebook, and if you have any questions, let me know. Wonderful, thank you. That was a full packed half hour with a lot of information. Um, so if, if you need to follow up, um, please get in touch with our presenters. I do have a, a few questions for both of you that I think uh, will be interesting also for students who uh, maybe listen to this recording later. Um, so the course first question would be um, about credit transfer. I uh, usually get those questions here in the United States when I talk to students who are interested in summer opportunities and they do of course if possible also want to transfer some of their credits that they received in Germany. So for um, both of your universities maybe um, we, we start with Aachen uh, with the International Academy. Um, how would that be possible for students um, if they were interested to take classes at um, the university but would also like to transfer maybe some of their credits um, to count towards their degree program in the United States? Yes, 
Um, this is a very good question um, for the programs at RBTH Aachen. It's definitely possible. Um, two reasons for this, but I have to mention it also depends on your home university. More to this one later. Um, so first of all, our two week, depending if it's two, three or four weeks, um, each program has 30 teaching units per week. This means that if you come for two weeks, you will have 60 teaching units. If you come for three, it will be 90. And four weeks will be 120 teaching units. Each teaching unit is 45 minutes. This normally is a university standard. Um, so your home university will easily understand how many teaching hours did you have. Now, of course, just having a teaching hour doesn't mean um, that you learn something. And we make sure that you learn something because at the end of each summer school, there will be an examination about the things that you learned. All the exams are conducted by the professors who are all teachers at the university. And we have the standard German grade system. So this means in the end, all students receive a certificate of participation which states you have participated in the summer school. And if you also successfully pass the exam, you get a second transcript, a so-called execu um, executive certificate. And what's special about the certificate is that it includes a grading paper. So you will have a grading paper with your grade, which you can then take to your home university. And then, of course, it's still up to your international office whether or not they will accept this to be transferred to credits. But you will have proof that you have passed an examination. You will have a grade associated with it. And you also have proof about how many teaching units you completed. So with these three infos, your home university will either be able to tell you, yes, you can get credits for this, or no, you can't. Um, one example here that I want to mention, we have a cooperation with the University from Mexico. They are sending several students each year as part of their home university program. And once they pass the exam, they get the credits at their home university. So it works for our Mexican partners, and um, we know that it also works for other universities. But the last word here is always with your home universities international office. Yeah, that's it. How is that for the Free University Berlin um, summer school? Um, with us, it's basically the same. We have an official transcript that we hand, that you will get after you have completed the program successfully, which lists the um, contact hours you had, the grade and the course, of course. And it is um, sealed and sent to your home university if you want to. It can also be sent directly to you. But for us, um, our experience is that it's better if you ask before you join the program at your home university if they would um, accept the credits and transfer the credits. Um, most of our students get the credits transferred. Um, we have an evaluation at the end and about two-thirds of all of our students said that they the um, that they can get their credits um, recognized um, and transferred but it is still better to check before we also have a lot of partnerships in place um, which assure that um, the credit transfer is um, is going to happen in the end mm -hmm. so Thank you. Yeah, I think um, those are two really um, good, um, that, that's really good advice to give. And I just would like to add that um, for students that are interested in, in um, doing summer courses in Germany, um, not only talk to your study abroad office, that's of course the most natural uh, path for you to take, but also get in touch with your department and the advisor at your um, department for your discipline and, and really chat with them um, prior to your study about, abroad about the course that you intend to take and maybe what it would take for you to be able to transfer those credits. So really talk to your study abroad office, but also your department here in the United States or Canada um, to really make sure that if you want to transfer some of those credits that you really um, know ahead of time what classes to take and maybe what kind of um, additional requirements it would take for you to, to have the credits transferred. Um, my second question is, um, so if students, and hopefully that's the case, uh, falls in love with uh, your universities um, and they may want to come back for a master's, is there um, maybe some support you can give them or maybe opportunities um, students have if they do um, wish to come back maybe um, to pursue a graduate degree? Um, 
how would that be possible for the Free University of Berlin, for example? Yeah, if students want to come back, we um, we usually get them in touch with the Student Service Center here, which um, gives yeah they can give a direct consultation regarding the program, the master's program, or um, other programs they are interested in. Um, it is definitely also helpful um, to already get information once you're here so um, that is a great opportunity you're on campus you can go to the student service center and just get a free consultation and um, yeah but definitely if somebody's interested we are always um, happy to get them in touch with the correct uh, contact person um, there's also the opportunity um, to yeah to take part in our sister program FUBEST, which is a semester-based program. Um, if one doesn't want to do their master's degree yet, but still wants to stay a bit longer in Berlin at the Free University, that would also be an option. Here we can assist um, more directly um, because we are, yeah, we are sister programs, so we have all the information and there are also discounts for participating in both programs. Mm -hmm, thank you. So how would that be for the um, RWTH Aachen? You mentioned that um, RWTH Aachen is also part of the University Ruhr Alliance. Um, so if, for, for students who uh, may want to come back maybe for a whole semester or an academic year, or maybe um, for those who are interested in master's programs, um, do you, is, is that possible for those students? And if so, maybe is there um, additional information you can provide to those students while they're on program? Yeah, that's also a good question. Um, if students just want to visit the university for one semester or let, let's say one academic year, um, we always just forward them to the international office because um, they know much better about the things um, than the international academy. Um, yeah, um, so we, we provide them with the contact information. And um, because Aachen, it's a very Let's say it's, it's it's a city with a small city center. It's it's easy to get everywhere. Um, they can also go during the lunch break to the international office and and, and have a chat with them. Um, that's definitely possible. If students, however, really seek to to study in Aachen, they have two options. Um, option one, of course, is to apply for one of the public programs. Um, here they compete with um, all the applicants. And we only have I think there's only three or four subjects they can actually study in English because it's public programs and most of them are in German language. However, the academy also has private programs. The only difference here is that they're taught in English. They are taught by the same professors that are teaching the master degrees at the university. Um, private here because they're only in English, only the international students can apply for them. And we actually have a study at the university event during the summer programs in which um, the students can get in contact with our master office they handle all the master applications. And what is interesting about the technical programs that we offer is that for each of the summer schools, there is a separate master degree. So these summer schools are a kind of um, yeah, trial study. If you see that you like the university, you can imagine living in Germany. And um, if you did like the summer school, we always have a master program associated with it in which you learn the same subjects, but of course on a master level. So if students are interested, then it's definitely possible. And of course, if you compare the study fees, even though it's a private um, university program, they're much, much, much cheaper than in the United States and Canada. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. And yes, as a, as a follow-up to that, if uh, listeners are interested, um, not only in the summer school, but also in potentially pursuing a graduate degree um, in Germany, as I said earlier, there is the funding available through DAD, if you uh, want to learn more about that, you can visit our website, dad.org. Um, that is all the time we have today. I would like to thank uh, both of the presenters very much. It is already quite late in Germany, so thank you very much for staying this late in the office. I very much appreciate it. Um, and I'm sure the listeners appreciate it as well. Um, if um, any one of you may be also tuning in um, later on and listening to this later on our YouTube channel, uh, please do feel free to get in touch with either me 
or the presenters if you have any questions about the summer programs or the university themselves. Um, I would like to give the presenters a, a final word if you want to um, say something um, that you maybe haven't mentioned in your presentation. I'd like to start uh, with um, Mr. Luman. Um, do you have any anything you would like to add as uh, some final remarks um, before we close this webinar? Uh, yeah, from my side, I just want to thank um, all the participants for their attention. I also hope that some students will find um, yeah, this link later, growth rate, and um, find interest in our programs. Um, I think um, what I again want to point out here is that um, if you're interested in anything technical, um, there will definitely be one summer school for you. Um, we do sometimes have scholarships. Whether or not these will be available will be posted on our homepage early in um, 2019. That is because we do not have yet word on whether or not funding will be available, but there's at least always one program where scholarships will be available, so have a look out for this one. Um, yeah, and I hope to see some of you in Aachen. Great, thank you. From the FUBAs, is there anything that you would like to add to your uh, presentation as a final comment to our listeners? Yeah, thanks from my side as well. And we would love to see you in Berlin next year. Check out our website. We also from time to time have some scholarships available and I can just recommend you to check out Berlin. Definitely, it's always worth a visit. And why not combine it with some academic courses <laughs> and earning credits? <laughs> so it's um, it's we just uh, passed summer of 18. Maybe you're not even thinking about it, but I certainly am with the cold creeping in here. I'm already thinking about next summer. So I do invite you to visit uh, both the RWTH International Academy and the FUBAS program for next summer. I would like to again thank the presenters. Thank you for listening and keep an eye out on uh, future webinars, future events uh, offered through DAD USA. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye.